Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change the server messages that appear in the bottom left hand corner of your Nitrado um, PlayStation, I guess this applies to the Xbox as well, uh, custom server for DayZ. Now this might be a bit difficult to see on the video, but when you're playing DayZ, you, DayZ you're probably seeing these messages appear at the bottom of the screen. They normally say something like, um, this server will be shutting down in 10 minutes, um, but you can change it to whatever you like but it's a little bit complicated and to be honest the instructions that I try to give you on the page aren't that brilliant so what you want to do is you want to log in to your Nitrado account uh, go to your services and you'll have your your, your uh, server will be there then on the right hand side you've got your little web interface uh, icon so click on that gears icon that will then take you over here to your dashboard. Now, you want to do this when there's nobody around. So go down and check that there's, see who's on your server. So for example, there's two people playing on my server at the moment. So what I could do is I could message, message them in the Discord and say, look guys, um, I'm just going to shut down the server in a couple of minutes because uh, I need to do some maintenance. Or if there's nobody around, then do that. Because what you need to do is you need to stop the server. So what you do is you click stop server, and that shuts the server down. Then what you want to do is you want to go over here where it says config files, and click that, and you'll end up at this screen with edit files on it. And then what next thing you want to do is you want to open up Notepad on your computer open up notepad and then you want to select all of this select this entire file and you want to copy that you want to put it into notepad and you want to file and then you want to save it as something like um, uh, uh, here we go nitrado settings backup file something like that okay so that, that's your backup just in case things go wrong and then let's have a closer look at this now this might be very difficult to see on the video so please by all means zoom in if you can or look at it on a bigger screen or turn your phone sideways something like that but what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of see this bit at the top with the um, uh, lines on it it's like an arrow to the left so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of the bit underneath and we're going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of this where it says one the following message well we're going to get rid of all of that okay and then we're going to get rid of number two we're going to get rid of all of that and then we're going to come down and we're going to get rid of where it says number three we're going to get rid of all of that and then we're going to go down to number four we're going to get rid of all of that and then see this little arrow here this little two hyphens and a, and a right arrow we're going to get rid of that so that means now that this XML file or what was a text file I guess that you save the server saves it as an X file if we were to then save the changes and then restart the server we would get the default messages so for example the first message says this server and it will put your server name on it um, will shut down in uh, team in minutes so uh, it's, the, it's the, the the number of minutes to, to shut down so which is which is a good one to have isn't it um, now these are the ones we're interested in so the, there's different instructions that the server can give so this one basically it says do a message repeat it every 15 minutes and you're playing on my server and then it puts the name of the server thank you so you, you might want to just say you might not like the name of my server uh, um, you might because uh, you might have got like a a a exclamation mark exclamation mark you know something like that so you might want to change it to uh, scale speeder gaming thank you um, so we've got another one down here that says delay so every 10 so here we go. De wait 10 minutes. So delay is 10 minutes and then repeat every 50 minutes. Check our web page at www.dayz.com. Well, I, I don't really want to go into dayz.com, but maybe every 50 minutes I could I could have a message that says, comes up and says, um, remember our community event is on Monday 
night, 20 UK time. Something like that. Um, and I could say, actually, wait a minute, I want to repeat that every 40 minutes. So let's change that to 40. And then we've got another one down here, uh, delay. So two, delay two minutes. So two minutes from the start of someone spawning in uh, from when they connect says, welcome to my server. And you could say that. Um, so you, by looking through these, you can kind of understand how they work. Now, let's say you wanted to do another message. What you can do is if you just select them, copy, and then paste, you could then do the message. So I don't know, delay, um, say delay after, oops, what have I done? So let's have a delay after one minute and repeat every 16 minutes. <laughs> um, and it's going to do it one minute after they connect. Actually, no. Um, remember our community event. So oh, this one could be um, something like join the death's head militia. Something like that. So you can have all. So you can copy the messages, change them, delete them if you don't want to. You know, change them to, to whatever you whatever you want. And I'll tell you, is, once you've got the file working, so it works, go into Word, go into Notepad, and save it as a separate file as well. So that when you come to edit it, you can, um, you you've got a backup to, to 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 go back on because there's no back button really, is it? Or is there? Oh yeah, you can do undo, can you? Now when you're happy. You hit save changes, which is cool, and then go back over to the dashboard, which will take you back over here, and you'll see restart server. Hit that button, and the server, after a few minutes, will restart, and those messages will then start to appear in the bottom of uh, the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Just bear in mind, though, as you can see from this photo, they're quite difficult to read against certain backgrounds. Well, they're quite difficult to read anyway, all of the time. So, you know, th don't put anything that people must do down there. Always reinforce it with emails or messages in your Discord or messages to your YouTube members or your Patreons, things like that, because they won't always be able to read the stuff. So, there we go. That's how you change the messages, the server messages on your Nitrado, Daisy, PlayStation and Xbox and probably PC as well, custom servers. Um, now, I'm lucky enough to have been offered to become a partner with Nitrado, which is really cool. So just so you know, you know, they are, well, they're not really sponsoring this video, but there's a link underneath the video that you see. So if you click on that link to take you through to Nitrado, to purchase one of their or hire one of their servers I'll get a cut of that and that can then go towards the running costs of, of uh, our Daisy private server or the you know the channel as a whole so quite excited by that um, and maybe we'll be able to explore some other avenues with Nitrado as well anyway though if you've got any other questions please put them down below oh a big thing actually I've got to put a shout out to Don Sibley Games as well because when I was searching for the solution for how to do this, I was looking, you know, at Reddit and lots of different things, and I was looking, you know, uh, the the, the uh, Nitrado uh, Twitter account as well. They had some answers, and Don Sibley had some answers as well. But the reason why I decided to do this video is because I did, none of them I felt were really clear about what you actually had to do. But shout out to Don Sibley. Um, if you're specifically, especially if you're on, on Xbox and you play Daisy, I know we don't really have many. Daisy, Daisy Xbox members in our Discord, and we haven't got a Daisy Xbox private server at the moment, but that might be changing in a few months' time, depending on how we get on. Um, but Don Sibley does, and he's a great guy, he's a really good uh, YouTuber, and I think he streams on, does he stream on Twitch as well? No, no I think he just streams on YouTube. Really funny, um, yeah, has a ma massive, really good community over at Don Sibley. So just search for Don Sibley Games, I'll put the links in the description down below. And uh, if you do get a chance, give him a shout out from me. So Scale Speedy Gaming appreciates uh, your help and the great content you do for the Daisy community. Anyway, that's enough for me. If you've enjoyed the video, hit uh, like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And uh, well, I'll see you again soon.